I'm Kevin Coleman with the Santa Post and I am at the Pump House Center for the Arts with the judge of this year's Best of Ross County show on the artwork from uh, high school students here in Ross County. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Dennis Dean and I'm currently teaching on a part-time basis at Ohio University Chillicothe campus. So I'm teaching two courses this semester and uh, after this semester's over, then I'll be traveling back to my home in North Carolina, where I'll be spending, you know, the rest of the, the, the year until next spring term comes along. But um, right now, they uh, roped me into to doing this uh, jury, which I find to be quite um, engaging and, and a challenge to really look carefully at you know, over a hundred works and, and trying to whittle it down to what at least I would consider to be the top 12 works. Uh, another juror might come in and perhaps select 12 entirely different works, but I would suspect there would be a fair bit of overlap between what I would see as um, as a practicing artist as well as an educator, what are the students doing at that age when they're maybe sophomores or juniors or seniors and um, how perhaps they are branching out of perhaps what most students would be um, experiencing in their high school art classes. And so that may be influenced by their teachers. They may have a teacher that is really kind of teaching a little bit outside of the, the box in terms of uh, adding a bit more of a challenge to what they expect of their student. It could be their parents. Perhaps their parents have had an experience in, in art making and it's something that they've just grown up with and, and so they, they have a bit of an edge, perhaps, than a student who comes from a family that doesn't have that uh, for their children in their home. And so, um, and I, I don't know if you could pick out any one piece and say that looks like somebody who's been making art for 12 years versus somebody who's just started making art, you know, two years ago in terms of a formal art education. So I'm at about uh, the point where I'm beginning to make the final selections that will determine best in show, first, second, and third, and then the honorable mentions. So I'll, I'll probably walk around the gallery at least two more times. And I think I've been in here for about an hour already. And so I've taken it from over 100 down to about 15 works and then after this interview is concluded then I'll spend maybe another 30 minutes just really wrangling with getting that best of show which is probably the most difficult and then it sort of falls pretty easily down from there so yeah, I don't know if you have any other questions that well I just want to point out that you had the opportunity to critique my photography when I was a student at LUC <laughs> We won't say how long ago that was. That but, was a while ago. <laughs> but you've got uh, plenty of uh, years of experience with uh, art, both photography and other forms, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, it sounds like you're an ideal judge for the show here. And I, I have kept track with a lot of the local high school teachers actually came through the OU Chillicothe uh, Art Foundations program before going on to Athens to get their BFA art certification. So through the years, you know, I've been out to the high schools, I've been out to the elementary schools and seen you know, what the teachers are doing. And, and we have in the past had workshops where we invite former students and many of them are local high school uh, teachers. Um, I've been out to several schools and done workshops, so I've, I've kind of kept my thumb on the pulse of what's going on in the local schools and am really quite pleased to see the, the, the generally high level of student work 
that is coming out of the, the public schools, and I guess there is one private school, if I'm not mistaken, in the group. So, Since you bring it up, what is the foundation about? Say again? The, uh, you mentioned the, uh, the foundation, a foundation that... The, um, the, what we used to call the art program a foundations program, so it was a freshman, sophomore level uh, program, and after that, the students would have to go to Athens because we couldn't offer classes beyond that level. A little bit later, we actually got the classes that a student could get a BA in art. So it would be a four-year degree entirely on our campus. But the education program, they would get the foundations at OUC through the sophomore year and then transfer over to, to the Athens uh, school where the education program was. And I think at one time we had as many as 12 students over there, either in their junior or senior level. That's how popular the program was at that time. So it's offering some college level education to high school students. Uh, well, now that may be, that would not have been for high school students, although, you know, with the, what's called the high school option, which may be called something different today, we called it the high school option. We would actually get students coming to OUC as sophomores in high school. And they would get a grade for the college credit and then that would apply to their high school credits as well. So we actually had some students who after taking advantage of that program, they would have almost two full years of college credits taken just during their high school uh, years, which is quite a phenomenal program. That if, if you think about you know, the, the cost of education, if you could get that for free, basically, um, if, if you're capable of working at that level, that's a, a wonderful opportunity. So is that still ongoing or something? Yes, yes it is. And um, I would say typically I would have in the last, let's say, five years, when I've been teaching part-time, at least two to four high school option students who were either junior or seniors. And, um, but now we're pretty much filling our classes with um, what are workshop students, non-credit, and what's called the 60 plus uh, students who get to take it for tuition free if they're 60 years and above. So I would say six out of 10 of our students now are more uh, adult to senior citizen, which makes for an interesting dynamic when you mix them in with traditional aged students. Okay, well, let me uh, switch lenses here. I'm okay. getting a little odd distortion. I'm not used to this wide <laughs> angle stuff. And uh, we'll take a, you'll give us a, a tour of okay. the show here. Okay.